Now to a new series here at NBC Bay Area, Climate in Crisis, Climate Change, an issue that isn't going away. In fact, we're seeing a greater urgency surrounding it. That's because you only have to look out your window to see the impact. NBC Bay Area's Raj Mathai has a look. Our Earth is changing. Summer's growing hotter, winter's more unpredictable. Simply not enough rain and too many fires. It's no longer a question of whether climate change is coming because as we're witnessing in the Bay Area, it's already here. So we're really seeing the signs of warming loud and clear in the data. Consider the data from this Berkeley weather station that's operated since the 1800s. It used to record an average of five days a year over 85 degrees. But in the last decade, it's averaged 15 days a year over 85. In some years, it's more than 30 days. Scientists say without action, we will see temperatures rise 10 degrees on average by the end of this century. And we'll see a shrinking of the rain season in California, something we've already seen in recent years. Our fire season knows no bounds, wildfires even in January. That's because our warming planet is leading to shorter rainy seasons, drier vegetation, and blistering winds. We actually have fewer fires than we did a few decades ago, but they burn five times as much land. The wildfire season that's in this year has really brought the reality of climate change home. Climate change has reduced our summer fog by 35%, impacting the health of our iconic redwoods in West Marin. And that's all linked to climatic change. In the next 30 years, sea levels are expected to rise one to two feet, and as many as seven feet by the end of the century. In West Oakland, homes, a wastewater treatment plant, and even the new eastern span of the Bay Bridge are vulnerable. So there are a number of low points that would be flooded, in some cases permanently flooded, with even just three feet of, of rise. There are a lot of issues, I think, when we think about sea level rise, and it really requires a lot of different groups to come together. Scientists say we are at a sobering point in our history where immediate action to curb our impact on the environment won't necessarily make things better, but rather will stop them from getting worse. I'm Raj Mathai, NBC Bay Area News.